Stereosity, <laughs> right? Yeah. Stereosity? Yeah. yeah. I messed that up. All right. You ready? Ooh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so today I'm here with Stereosity. We just had the pleasure of watching them perform in the, our little basement beat segment. So you should definitely go check that out. Um, it was amazing. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed their new stuff they played and everything. Um, so let's get a little introduction going. Maybe we could go down the line, say your name, what instrument you play in the band. So that'd be great. Uh, OK, uh, you want to start which side? Uh, I, I guess I can start. Okay, you start. Ooh. Well, first of all, thank you for the compliments. Um, my name is Jack. Uh, I play the guitar. This is Hunter. Yeah, I play, I play drums. I'm Luke. I play bass. I'm Sam. I play guitar and I sing. And they play all those very well. Yes. yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank some you. talent. Um, so how did you guys find each other? That's kind of like the big question I have. Like, how did this start? Where did this start? So When? Yeah, that's a very, <laughs> very easy question to answer I think um, so we all met each other in middle school mm -hmm. um, so I don't know how long ago that was seven eight eight years like seven, eight. Yeah. seven years so mm -hmm. we've, yeah we've been a band for a really long time a lot of it was just like getting together and playing cover songs um, but Jack was actually the one who met these two first and then I met them through him because I knew him we used to play video games a lot and that was pretty much it so. oh that's so funny you know yeah, so um, basically, I had never picked up a guitar when we started the band. Um, or <laughs> that's not true. Um, I had like a few times, but I wouldn't call myself like comfortable with the instrument. Um, so I was actually at, I believe it was your birthday party or something like that. I was at his house and we go into the garage just to like play ping pong. And I see that there's a drum set and like a guitar on a stand and a bass. And I'm like, guy, I, I said jokingly, like, guys, we should start a band. Even though I didn't know how to play my instrument, right. um, but you know eventually, to play yeah, I played oh, trumpet okay. in, in middle school. But um, I, I think eventually, um, guitar piqued my interest, and that's kind of how this whole thing started. Um, so yeah, because they they played together um, before this. Because uh, these two are brothers, by the way. They're brothers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> How's it been playing with your brother? Do you get along? Do you fight a lot? <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a sister. I get it. Yeah. Um, I feel like you both are pretty easygoing, though. Like, it, it, especially like in your household, everybody's so easygoing. I feel yeah. like you're yeah. not twins, are you? No. No. Okay. I didn't think so. Just want to make sure. Yeah. But, but yeah. Then um, after, after he was like he said that jokingly or something, and then he like mentioned the idea to me and I was like oh my god I want to be in a band too that's sick I know how to play guitar can I play guitar and then it just kind of yeah. from there <laughs> yeah yeah first mm -hmm. first band practice was very uncomfortable but um you know we got the hang of it oh, yeah. I don't I don't know if there was a single word exchange between me and Luke that first <laughs> no practice. He, he didn't say a single word to either of us <laughs> during the first practice he stood there and nodded <laughs> We were all very awkward middle schoolers. I'm sure. Like, that middle school... <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. That was a terrible time for everyone, but a good thing came out of it, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. So. Yeah, well, that's a great story. Like, middle school band, yeah. I, yeah. I had a similar thing, and it didn't go anywhere, so it's exciting yeah. that it did for you guys. Um, so where are you guys from? Orange County, California. Woo! Yeah. Just pretty much an hour north of here, but yeah. Um, OC represent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well... What are some of your inspirations or, yeah, influences for your music, like now or when you were just starting out? Like, how did it develop? Okay, so it's kind of like anywhere in the, like, progressive area of things, because it started out with, like, I, I didn't listen to anything aside from, like, I guess indie rock or pop up until I met him, Jack, over there, and then he showed me like Radiohead and mm. like Slipknot <laughs> and it was an immediate like then we started playing like Radiohead covers all together because these two already liked Radiohead mm -hmm. um but it was new to me and then we got we, we played a few covers everybody you know obviously plays a cover of Creep once in their life so totally, yeah, totally. you know did that um and then it was just into the more progressive side of their music and I think they like they played a really big role in shaping our our taste in music I feel mm -hmm. like um, now we just listen to a lot of, like, again, progressive stuff. We like a lot of math rock. Um, you guys like a lot of jazz. 
Oh, know. yeah, you guys mentioned jazz when you were up there. Yeah. Um, right now, I think the biggest inspirations have to be, I don't know if you guys have heard of a band called Belt Asleep. Um, they're from the UK. They're very uh, math rock. They play, like, really twinkly stuff and heavy choruses and stuff like that. But then also Chon um, also came from San Diego. They're a... Or they're not a band anymore, I don't think, but um, they used to play a lot of like instrumental math rocky stuff. Yeah. So I also, I, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we listen to a lot of guitar driven yeah. uh, music. That's a good way of putting yeah. it, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I, um, I listen to a lot of Covet, and I take the inspiration from like Yvette Young a lot with like the tapping stuff. I was like mesmerized while you guys were doing I, uh, <laughs> uh, I was just watching your fingers. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. It sounded yeah. cool too. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, much. who writes your music? question it's a uh, great question yeah it's a great question i think it's a lot of like all of us pretty much yeah I mean, there's not really one like composer in the band it's like uh typically what happens is like i'll me or sam will write like a guitar riff or something like that and then we'll kind of bounce ideas off of each other first and then once we have like a general layout of how we want the song to you know go about we'll bring it to these two guys and they'll kind of add the backbone to the whole song. Um, so I think that's like the most general way I can put it. Mm -hmm. We don't really have like a consistent way of writing. It kind of just gets, you know, ideas yeah. are just thrown out there and they kind of just get put together. I think it's like also kind of about getting into the flow of it. Cause I know like writing in the beginning is really, really hard, but then you find a certain niche or a certain way of getting into it. And then you find that flow with yeah. a person. You know, I know it helps a lot to like write with somebody else. So that's why I. I write with Jack a lot. He's also my boyfriend, so it helps. Um, <laughs> but um, wow, he comes Who over. Knew? Yeah, <laughs> he comes over. We'll write like um, I'll write a guitar riff. He'll write a guitar riff, and then we'll just like piece it together and try and structure something. Um, like for example, that last song uh, I wrote the the first intro riff, like the da 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 da. I wrote that, and then I was just like, "This is really cool. We should use this." And then I just kind of noodled around with some other parts. Brought it to him. He wrote his parts. And then after that, we brought it to like a, a band practice, and I was just like, "What do we do with this song?" And they were just like, "Structure's good." And I was like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> so it was kind of already a song when it was put together, but you know, these guys really help with like structuring everything and finding a place for every embellishments. Embellishments, embellishments yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good way of putting it. Um, I'm hoping we get a release of some of those songs you played earlier. Is it coming? Yeah, yeah. That's the the goal is an album. Uh, yeah. every, everybody's goal is an album. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting. Do you have any kind of like a uh, general idea of when we could be expecting an album? Uh, I don't know. We've been heavily writing um, since the beginning of this year, and I'm hoping probably like the beginning of next year. Okay. Sort of yeah. release. I'll be yeah. ready. We yeah. can hope. We can hope. What can else hope. Um, <laughs> should we keep on our radar for you guys? Like what's upcoming? Any going shows? On tour. <gasps> yep. Tour. Yeah, we're going on tour. We're going to. Um, like a southwest sort of thing so we're hitting um california and then arizona and then new mexico and then texas and then oh up into colorado gosh. and then back over in nevada and then down yeah <laughs> what awesome. bands are you touring yeah. with um a band invited us they're called dry spell they're a pop punk dry band spell. out of orange County. i feel County. like i've heard of them they're really cool oh my gosh well that's, that's extremely yeah. exciting yeah, yeah. definitely catch a show then it's that's yeah. so yeah. when is when is that tour um june 4th through the 14th i believe i have to double check on the ending date but it starts on the 4th in long beach so. oh are you like going to be cramped in a little car pretty much <laughs> yeah. but i feel like that's like how you have to Ball do it we're like, I feel like, like a, a 15 passenger van yeah if, if we can they oh, that I must yeah say, the best part is going to see the breaking bad museum yeah well, we'll be seeing breaking bad museum for Albuquerque. Sure. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. that's the goal yeah we are all very excited sure, yeah, yeah that's huge well, so you're going to see a lot of different venues, obviously, when you go on tour. But, yeah. like, so far in California, do you have, like, a standout show or a standout venue that you just love to play? Always a good vibe. Hmm. Your backyard, maybe? I was about to say, <laughs> house shows are always really house fun. Shows, house yeah. shows are fun. Yeah. Because you get, like, your best friends. We, we were at one show. Um, oh, my gosh. No, y'all remember the, the mansion party? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. On Halloween? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a... So we went to yeah, this one... Really Oh my gosh, crazy story. We went to this one um, show. We got invited by um, my friend Caesar over at Redacted Collective. Um, he invited us to play this show with uh, Sosis, The Speed of Sound and Seawater, as they're formerly known as. Um, yeah. But we played at this 
house show of being like a mansion mm -hmm. in. It's called the Grand Palace. Yeah. No way. It's called the, the house Grand had a name. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not even joking. When I say this was a whole venue, I mean it yeah. was a whole venue. Like, <laughs> where was it? Arlita. Okay. So you go and you're standing on the street. You can't hear anything. You walk past the gates. You can start hearing a tiny bit of sound. You walk in. It's blasting. How perfect <laughs> because you know in the suburbs, like exactly. yeah. things get shut down like that, exactly. especially with a live band. I think it was also because like the owners were like architects, so they knew what they were doing. So Ooh, it like yeah. they had the cool. whole thing planned out. Yeah. They have shows there. They had a whole stage. Like the house was built to be a, a like a party venue. Exactly. That's perfect. That's, that sounds. I want to yeah. go. It was yeah. a crazy night because all the lighting in there felt like you were in like a Disney movie. <laughs> it was like twinkly and everybody was in costume. It kind of yeah. felt like a fever dream. There were like stars painted on the walls and they yeah. had, like glue and it was glow in the dark. The dark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there was also like a whole bar in the house. Um, huge sick. bar. Like, <laughs> um, but then at the end of the night, the trippiest part, like we go outside and I remember talking to one of the bands. Um, these guys are in the car, but I'm standing with Jack and then I heard like the like guy in front of me just go like, oh shh. And then he turns around and there's like a guy who had fallen like from straight up, straight onto the back of his head. Oh. And he's sort of like bleeding out. Like, oh. Like on the like cement at some dude's house. He's good now. He's, he's, good now. he's okay. No, he he's walked out you keep of in there. touch with him. You keep in touch with him. Good. <laughs> yeah, he walked out of there literally. Like he got like at the end of it, paramedics were called, they came, they checked on him. After bleeding out of the back of his head, he stands up and oh. like, oh, I'm good. So it's a, it's <laughs> safe to say that you guys knocked him off his feet? Is, yeah. is that yeah. what I'm, All right, that's what, I, that's what I took from that story. That's what I yeah. took from I that story. I guess so. Yeah, well, was it was so cool hearing that story and hearing how you <laughs> formed. Like like I said, I'm going to be checking them out on Spotify right after this. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll keep my eyes out for the album and maybe I'll catch them this summer in Orange yeah. County. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for driving down. Yes, um, thank you. It was awesome meeting you and I wish you the best of luck cool. with Thanks for the having future. Yeah, appreciate thank it. You. You've got two new fans now. Three, Ooh, yes. three, so. four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much and um, have a great trip. Thanks for having us. Cool. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yay. Woo! <laughs>